What's up? What's up? What is up? And welcome to the Dr. Ali Griffith Show, Mindset, Meditation, and Motivation. This is the space where we just talk about things in our natural lives, where we have different guests that come in and join us and share about how they are sharing their superpowers out there in the world. I love getting people together who are in alignment with myself and in alignment with who's listening out there so that we can all get a little bit of something that can either motivate us or help us to shift that mindset and change the dynamics of what we're going through at this moment, if that's what we need. So I'm excited that you chose to come back again. Guys, definitely make sure you subscribe, make sure you share, make sure you leave your comments. All of this is so important because guess what? I actually go back and I listen and I look at what you guys are saying. So please do me a favor and continue passing this out to your friends and all the people who you think can benefit from just being in this presence of listening to the information or listening to the presence that we're giving them, right? So our guest today is none other than the wonderful Chris Miller. She is a global leader in all fashions and form. She is uh, one of the CEOs of Legacy Shifters. She's going to be sharing more information all about that. But what I wanted to share with you is she is a gem. She is, if you're looking at us, if you're just hearing us, you'll hear her bright light and how she really touches the world. She touches it with her ingenuity and how just real and authentic that she is. And she lightens a room wherever she goes. I've been blessed to work with her on the Global Leaders forum, but now hearing all about how she's impacting the world. She's, she's making songs out there and she, just so much. Okay, I'll breathe. None other than Miss Chris Miller, everyone. Say hello. Hi, Chris. How are you? Dr. Ali. Woohoo! It's so <laughs> nice to be here with you. Thank you. Thank you. So let us know. Tell us a little bit about you. If you can just give us that really quick elevator spiel to let people know how you show up in the world and who you serve. Can you let us know that? I sure can. Well, I, I am a legacy wealth strategist, and I've been in practice for over 27 years. I have over 6,000 clients, and no one on my watch has ever lost a dime. So that's how I started to roll. And then I hooked up with my business partner, Tia Ross, and we've developed products and services and programs around behavioral, because she's been in the behavioral health, and I've been in the financial health, and we've merged together as legacy shifters. So we show people how to shift their life through the way they think and around their healthy money. So we have programs that we've wrapped around that. And recently, on my birthday, and I'm just gonna say like it is, I'm in my sixth decade, this year I'm going to turn 65. So don't let your dreams ever die because you know what? I just signed a record deal in Nashville on my birthday. It was like out of my, I thought I passed it by. You know what I mean? If you look at the age, but God had something else in mind. So all of that got put together. And so we're, we're rocking the world and bringing songs inside of everything that we're doing. Really exciting. Oh, I absolutely love that. So congratulations on that record deal and signing that that contract and doing showing us that your 60s, you're really still living and you're really still creating new exciting things. You do not get to throw the basket in and just say, okay, I'm just done. You actually still get to ignite your dreams and touch the world with your gifts. Yes. So that in itself is amazing. And then I love legacy wealth shifters. That concept is so amazing. I love how we make money healthy, healthy money. Right? Uh, exactly. Exactly. And people, you know, they don't really realize that they're sabotaging themselves just by the way that they're thinking around their money, whether it's limiting beliefs or past or things or worries or fears. So when Chi and I get together, we just break that on down and make it really real and reachable for anybody to change the energy around the money. And it really did happen when I put give back as the base of my business. Of course, you know, I was really successful with my business, Healthy Money, Happy Life, my other company. But 
it reached a level I could have just retired. I'm fine. It's good. But it was like the give back. You got to share this with all of those kids and all the people, whatever age they are, because most people don't get it. You go to school, you learn how to make money, you make, and then what do you do? You get out of school and you spend all your time making money. And then all of a sudden you're going to look up and you're about to retire and you haven't done any planning or you haven't done any saving. And, and it's just the facts of life. Nobody's been taught. So there's no judgment. You just take all the shame and the blame away. You get on down to it and how you can change that legacy. I love it. So that goes back to the mere gist of our program. So it's the Dr. Ali Griffith Show, Mindset, Meditation, and Motivation. So what we're talking about is that wealth mindset. Now, you'll be surprised and happy with me because when we did our Mompreneurs on Fire live event, which was my first live event this year, guys, stay tuned for 2.0. It will be March 28th and 29th of 2020. We focused on wealth mindset. Because I realized that was one of my limiting beliefs in my business. Like I knew I love, I had a passion for giving my gift. I had a passion for serving, but for some reason I had difficulty with attaching money to it and charging people like that word charging for yeah. what I was giving. And I had to realize that I wasn't charging. I was extending an invitation. I was offering value. I was helping them creating their next best legacy. And I had to start doing some of the things that I've learned definitely through legacy wealth shifters and through our other coaches that have helped us with shifting that mindset on if I don't change my concept of my, my relationship with money, how do I expect to truly live as myself? If I'm afraid of money, how do I get to really go out there and be unequivocally myself, right? I want to be me and I want to be able to give my gift and, and, and serve as a passion and still be a CEO, a responsible CEO. So that first tip that she gave with managing your wealth mindset is key, key, key. If you were to leave them with one strategic tool that they need to implement right now that will help to see different results in the way they manage their money, what would you leave my listeners with? Great question. And you know, you'd be surprised whether I have multimillionaire clients or people that just living paycheck to paycheck. Half this country cannot find emergency money, can't find even a thousand dollars. Half this country can't find a thousand dollars for an emergency. And right now we're on the brink of a major global shift with money. So you all need to have what I call the DNT account. Do not touch. Start creating. Now they always say six to eight months rainy day money. I think we need about one to two years because the next crash is going to be a global crash. All of us are going to be affected. It's really coming down. It's going to be worse than anything that we've seen. And I'm an optimist. So why am I telling you that? To be prepared. Have that cash available. I'm not talking about all the safe money and income you never outlive things programs. I'm talking about money that you have stashed away for emergencies. Because we're living in a 911 kind of world right now. So have, create a DNT account. Do not touch. And people go, oh, but I, I live paycheck to paycheck. Look, what do you do? Make a journal of everything you spend for a week. You'd be surprised how much few dollars you can pick up from the dinner, from the Starbucks, from the this. You start stashing that away in your DNT account. And if you do it consistently, I love it, right? It, it's right. part of the process. You want to train a new habit. You want to create a new habit. Now, yes. we're not expecting it to be something gigantic at the beginning, but if you create a new habit and you give yourself a certain amount, and you start off with that amount and you see whenever you can increase it. Now, the goal is to increase, not to decrease. Right. right? And we want to make sure each month we are consistently putting into that DNT. Do not touch account. Yeah. If you do that right now, you create your two year, one to two year safety cushion, right? Yes. yes. What Chris Miller just mentioned is that we are in a 911 time. I'm taking notes, so I'm just repeating what I'm hearing. I hope you heard it. Exactly. And you know, there's a thing about money it's magnetic. You can actually, even if you just put, you know, start the account and put $10 in. It attracts, it wants friends. It attracts other monies into there. It is very cool. 
and because it creates an energy and a momentum. And it really is good if you pay attention to do the journal, do a money journal so you can watch yourself. Because it's easy to just take a credit card out and just spend, 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 and watch yourself. Do you really need that extra pair of shoes right now? You need the rainy day money, you know, the cushion, the DNT account. So journal it, watch it, and it will become magnetic. Ooh, child. This Miller is dropping bombs upon bombs upon bombs. If you cannot see her, make sure you go to YouTube and watch this video. <laughs> she is sharing it, and yeah. you need to see all the action that goes with it. <laughs> Because she just literally said, you need to journal it. If you're not writing it down, it's not happening. Exactly. You need to also make sure you understand that it's, a tra it's an attractor. But as you begin to put it aside, it has its friends. And I have this little dance I'm doing in front of the screen right now. It's saying, come to me. I'll give you more. Give me more. Yeah. what it's saying. So yeah. once you start, you will attract doing more. Now, yeah. do not touch that account, y'all, no matter what. I want you to put a big sign, DNT, put that card away, have it come out automatically, figure out how does it work for you that you will not touch it. All right, so we do mindset. You definitely motivated us by giving us some really amazing tips. Now, do you do any meditation at all? How do you keep your Zen? Like, what's your little one thing to meditate or what do you do to help yourself to reach back to your place of Zen? I literally do. I, after, uh, you know, I, you know, wake up real early and I do, before I get out of bed, I do the gratitude. You know, I find, you know, at least five things I'm grateful for. And so I go through all of that, create my energy for the day. Then when my feet hit the ground, I go, I just, myself, I go, I'm walking in Jesus. And then I do that like morning and night. But then after I have a period, like, you know, when the day ends after, after dinner, before I start my second round of songwriting or whatever I'm gonna do in the evening, I stop and I sit and I'm, I just sit and breathe. And I just be still. And what I do, because you know, the brain is always racing, I let go and let God. And I just release everything so my brain disengages and I just breathe and listen. And when I do that, I actually get my download for what I'm going to do again. Yes. And one PS on that is that we have a program that we've wrapped around the money with the muse. That money, it's a headband that gives you biofeedback. That thing, that thing we got to talk about later. But that is a crazy thing because it shows you how to be in your divine mind and not in the brain that's always trying to sabotage you. And so it's a biofeedback device that we've wrapped inside around, you know, healthy money programs. But without devices, without any, you know, hoopla, just simply sit down and I just go, you know, I breathe and I just sit there maybe, sometimes I'll sit there for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, let go, let go, and everything clears and I get my next download and what I'm going to do next. And then I go right back up. Love it, love it. So sit still, be still, deep breath, let go, and let God. That's it. Breathe simple, it. simple. Breathe. We also yeah. mentioned a biofeedback headband that also that they use in collaboration with the Healthy Money Mindset. Um, we're gonna post access to her website. We're gonna post access to you know all the the social media pages you can follow the legacy shifter so you can learn more about these techniques if you want to hear more or work more or just follow you know the legacy shifters or chris miller or tia we'll definitely put all of the information down below and stick with us so you got it live and direct here chris miller was okay. here legacy shifters was here <laughs> we had an amazing time talking money and still smiling Yes. Oh, I hope you were listening to this and smiling and thinking that, you know, money can still be happy and wealth can still be something magnetizing and magnifying right. and that um, we can do it through many different ways. But one way of meditating would be definitely sitting still, taking deep breaths and letting go and let God. And of course, being in alignment with people who can continue helping you through the process because we don't want you to go back into touching. Be into <laughs> 
DNT. Yeah. So our next episode of the Dr. Ali Griffith Show, Mindset, Meditation, and Motivation. I just want to remind you guys, in all that you do, in all that you do, continue to be amazing in your thoughts, your words, and in your actions. Peace. All right. Thank you.